out here in northwestern Frio, moving into Medina County. Uh, now, what I want to emphasize here is that when we get these sort of tropical systems, we get these little spin ups. They can happen. They're typically very weak and it's kind of like a tropical funnel situation. If there is anything that actually comes down to the ground, it's often very, very weak. But we do need to point this out because this tornado warning is going to go for several more minutes. And it's right in this area of very heavy rain that we're watching it. And the best way we can kind of detect any sort of rotation is uh, through what we call our wind detector or we actually look at the storm relative velocity. So it looks at the winds and if there's a, a little what we call couplet where we see these red and green colors close together that uh, represent kind of a tight spin. But we're not really seeing that. I would say this is pretty broad. If there is anything there, it is uh, extremely weak. But we did get a warning issued for this uh, particular storm. And so that's why we want to watch it. I would say that if you're in Hondo, let's keep an eye on this. Let's maybe watch this closely, but I have a feeling this is probably going to kind of fall apart before it gets up towards Highway 90. It's right in between Moore and uh, Hondo. They are kind of out in rural areas just to the west of Beery. So you got 173 here and Yancey off to the south and west. You're not in the path of this, but this could come up around 173 just around the Beery area. So something to watch. And not only that, we're getting some very heavy rain with this and there could be some some flooding. So we look at the radar and this is uh, some good copious amounts of rain that has fallen or falling at the moment. And we can also look at the rain rates on top of everything else where we're noticing that this rain is coming down at a really good clip. Those purple areas representing five to six inches per hour. So yeah, it'll move on through. It won't sit there for an hour, but you're going to get some, probably some flooding on some of those roadways, less traveled roadways, and there could be some deeper water in spots. Now we don't have any flash flood warnings or anything like that. It's still this tornado warning, uh, but this is going to go for a, for a while longer. That goes into 115. It's basically for Medina County because this rotation has moved north of more. What rotation there is there again, isn't a ton, uh, but we'll go back to the uh, radar here and uh, put it on radar and show you that area of heavier rain that is uh, tracking north. And then you got a good shield of rain. You've held the con can down the Catula and Pearsall. Pierce and I'm going to switch radar sites here real quick. And uh, you can see kind of uh, get a better idea. The rain is not as heavy as it looks. You've held the con can, but that's just good soaking rain. We've seen some lightning strikes. And then around uh, Catula as well, you got flash flood warnings further south as this thing uh, rotates kind of west into Mexico at this point. Uh, but we'll take one last look at this tornado warning that is going to go for a while longer and they just kind of looks like truncated the warning a little bit there into Medina County for that rotation that still may be there uh, again we're not seeing just a, a lot with it we'll put it back on the uh, storm relative velocity and we'll take another look and I'm just not seeing a whole lot of rotation here but if if there is anything there if it's it's going to be very weak it's going to be in between the uh, Beery and Yancey there working up towards the Hondo area. So just, just keep an eye on things there and expect some heavy rain over the next uh, 20, 30 minutes or so. We're going to keep tabs on this. We'll keep you updated. And if you see kind of a, a funnel that's possible, again, with this kind of tropical activity, there could be a few more today. And we'll have much more on this. Uh, if we need to break in, we will. And uh, we'll toss it back to uh, David and Ursula. All right, Justin, I know you're on top of it. We'll come back to it if we need to. In the meantime, let's take you downtown. Uh, before we go downtown, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Okay, let's look at the radar one last time. This tornado warning that's going to go into 115. This is a storm relative velocity. We're looking for those red and green colors, kind of a rotation. Not really seeing a whole lot here. If there is anything here, it's going to be very weak and brief. But we're going to keep an eye on the radar. We'll keep you posted here as this works up towards Hondo. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that this is likely going to get canceled here pretty soon. But if you're in Hondo, let's keep a close eye on this. Let's be careful. Uh, if you do want to put some protection between you and this storm, just in case. And know that there's going to be some pretty heavy rain involved in this, too. Very quickly, before we, uh, we toss back here, I, I do want to show you the radar one last time because we also have some very heavy rain involved that uh, is going to be rotating up through the Hondo area, Beery, up along 173. So that's the other issue here. Uh, expect some blinding rain. There could be some minor street flooding in spots, too, around Hondo. And uh, Divine, maybe even Natalia, as this kind of rotates up towards uh, the I-90, or, or I'm sorry, Highway 90 area 
and expect some more rain, especially west of San Antonio a little bit later today. Guys. All right, you are not going anywhere right now. You're going to stick right here and keep your eye on that for us. Yes, sir. All Thank right. you, Justin. Yep. And in the meantime, we will head downtown for That's right. SA Live. It starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. That's right, we are. And he overtakes her. And I'm like Oster Hage, <laughs> and of course summer's kind of winding down. A lot of kids back in school, but oh my goodness gracious, as fall comes in here, you want to get outside and play, and this is a whole bunch of fun. And I actually picked up a hitchhiker back here as well. So <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yes, you've got a little passenger there behind you. But Adam Weitzer, owner of River City Play Systems, joins us, and he's going to tell you how you can get into the driver's seat because this isn't your average pedal cart, right? No. No, comes in all size, all, uh, all all colors, um, different ages. Um, all ages can be souped up. Careful, kids back there. Sorry, I was <laughs> seeing the crash. Um, you could build them however you want. Um, age uh, two, all the way up to 99 years old, is suitable for. Okay, when I was heard pedal cart, and we we're going to be doing this, and I thought I was going to be in one of those little kitty things, but this is uh, this is kind of grown up size. I'm loving this thing. Absolutely, and you can get them bigger than that if you need them. Oh, seriously. So this is a perfect size if you're under six foot. Um, we have other ones that'll go up to six foot seven. They're called the two XLs. You're on an XL with that passenger seat, so you lose a little bit of room. That's that's Caleb, my hitchhiker back here. So are you ready to go, Caleb? I you love take him. A spin? And yes, there, there you go, Caleb. Four Bye, years Caleb. old, Caleb. All right. And so many different designs, right? And you can soup them up because you can pedal or you could really put the pedal to the metal. Absolutely. Uh, they come in um, the standard BFR, which stands for brake free, free wheel in reverse. You can also get them in an electric <laughs> model if you need a little extra assistance. Um, you know, that'll get you going up to 12 miles per hour. Um, perfect if you have a very hilly yard or just don't want to pedal that hard. All right, and these are great gifts for kids or adults, right? Absolutely, they sell very fast. Um, inventory is a little better now than it was last year, but Go ahead, sir. Oh, no, I was going to say, the other thing I've noticed with these carts, too, is because a lot of times, you know, in the carts, when the, when my boys were little, and they all had those hard plastic, hard rubber tires, I mean, we've got pneumatic tires on these things. This is a nice ride here. I love this. Is it smooth? It is a smooth is ride, smooth? yes. I'm not bouncing How's around on the bricks back? out here. Is it, so. Does it feel good? It How's does, the lumbar actually. support? A, a padded seat would be nice, <laughs> but we'll get into that maybe part of the souped-up package. <laughs> yes, so, yes. In the souped-up package, you can get a, a, a padded seat. Um, um, which will be a little more comfortable for you if you're if that's what you're looking for. Are you serious? <laughs> Absolutely. We can do we can do a padded seat for you. We can do an extra seat. We can do four seaters. A four seat uh, go kart. Four seat go karts. And somebody's got to pedal that though. Correct. You'll have two adults pedal it. You can have two kids sit in the front um, and just enjoy the ride. <laughs> One, One, two, two three, three go. go. Oh, ah, done. I got to pedal go. the four seater. Right. Yeah. So we, of course, this is just a small sampling of what you have, right? Because there's a showroom, right? Absolutely. We've got a showroom. It's located in Shirts, right down uh, 3009, like Go we're going to Garden Ridge. You can test them out there, um, or you can visit our website and order them. Okay. So I know if you're pedaling, you know, you can go as fast as you can pedal. But you mentioned, of course, the electric boogie, woogie, woogie, woogie. Uh, how fast does that go? <laughs> Correct. Well, it depends on still how hard you pedal to a certain extent, but you can get up to about Ready, 12 Caleb? miles an Hang hour. On. Here we go. Uh, going uphill. Going uphill, yes. <laughs> Whoa. I love doing that. <laughs> and I love, again, all the different designs. Tell us a little, a little bit about some of them. So we've got kind of like a Jeep looking one right yes, there. Yes, we've got the Jeep uh, suitable for age two to five. Um, we've got another little one in a, in a five to ten year old model. Um, the one Mike's on is five to ninety nine years old. And if you're taller, they do get longer. And I like that one. What's she pulling back there? Well, it doesn't look like she's pulling anything, but she could be pulling <laughs> whatever she wants. Whatever she wants. All right. She's got a trailer behind her. You can put the kids to work with that, taking a load of mulch or something like that. So, and yes. it is. I mean, it's not bad to pedal either. So. Right. Yeah. Yes. Get out here. I'm sweating. So. Okay. And of course, other things offered there at River City Play Systems, we are going to show you some incredible play sets and trampolines to create, of course, the backyard of your kids' dreams. So for more information on River City Play Systems, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. So speaking of having fun. Yes. Recess. 
What was your favorite thing to do at recess? Go. Oh, the swings. I mean, yes. Okay. Swings were a blast, but we'd also play scatter, too. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. So teeth, we want to so. know, what was your favorite <laughs> thing to do at recess? And, hey, if you've got some of those back to school, for, you know, first, first yeah. day back to school pictures, we'd love to see those, too, at SA Live on Facebook and Twitter. And you may see that a little later in the show. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's our Money Saving Monday, and hey, who doesn't love to take a little vacation? But you know, between the flights, the hotels, expenses, all too often you say, I'll just do it next year. But don't put off your vacation anymore because we all deserve a getaway, and we found some help. Travel enthusiast Chris joins us with five great tips to get you in vacation mode faster and best of all, for less money. That's music to our ears. Hey, Chris, how are you? I'm good. How are you today? I'm doing very well. I think I'm going to be doing better when I hear about all these great deals going on. Okay, so you've got five great tips. Let's get right to it. Number one, <clears throat> flights can be pricey. I mean, yeah, trying to find a cheap flight is so hard to do. Um, how can we find those great cheap flights? Absolutely. Skyscanner is actually a best friend. When you're searching for cheap flights, I recommend that you run to Skyscanner. If you have a little bit of time and flexibility, the app will help you locate the best destination and the time that you need to travel. And for the lowest cost, I always use Skyscanner when searching for flights. By the way, I found a flight to El Salvador for less than $300 and I started with Skyscanner. So I recommend starting there. Wow. Now, a lot of times people say, you know, you look at the dates when you want to go and then you try and find a flight to match that. But you're saying if you're flexible on your days, then you can fly, find better flight prices, right? That is the way to go if you're trying to save money or travel on a budget. All right. Planning ahead, no matter what the situation is, it always seems to be better than having a plan going on. But especially when it comes to traveling, that can save you a lot of money, right? How would that work? Yes. Yeah, so for me, I typically look for a ticket at least six months in advance because you're able to see what the flight prices are going to look like and you have time to actually set money aside to travel to these destinations. Wow, that's a great. I mean, a lot of people, you know, think about saving for education or something like that. But yeah, if you can, you know, be good and set aside money for your flight, look ahead and go, this is how much I need. That's a, that's a fantastic idea. So, of course, research uh, when the busy season is for your destination, you can also save a lot of money too. go in the off season, right? Yes, off season. I always recommend off season. Now, there's this thing about the European summer. Everyone wants to go to Europe during the summer. Well, that is the most expens expensive time to go to Europe. But if you decide, for example, to skip the summer months and go in December, there are less tours and you're spending less money. So off season for sure. We love a European summer, but we also love to save money. So I would recommend that. Well, and then when you save money there, then you can spend it while you're there because it's more than just, I mean, a lot of people think about the flights getting there and then getting home, but you got to eat, you got to have fun, you got to see all the attractions and that can cost a bundle. So how do you save money on that? Well, I, how you save money on that is probably booking locally as opposed to going through third party websites like uh, Expedia or Viator. What I do is I wait till I get to my destination. I'm right on site and I get to talk to the locals and kind of negotiate, right? Cutting out the middleman. Um, that's a good way to invest in the economy and making sure that your money goes further. For example, when I went to Cuba a few years ago, I tried to book um, the classic car tour using Expedia and it was at least $78, close to $100 more than just getting into the city Havana and talking to a local and making that deal happen right on the spot. That's a great idea. Okay, when I introduced you, it said that you are a travel enthusiast. Case in point, um, is this true? You flew to El, Sal El Salvador just to ride on a slide? I did. I did. I saw it all over social media and I like to think that I like to live my life on the edge. It was completely terrifying, but it was just about the best 15 oh, wow. seconds of my life. Um, and I probably spent about 48 hours there and I was back in, in DC and, you know, still thinking about those fun, but scary memories. <laughs> I love the expression on your face. We're showing the video right now. And that is obviously the most colorful slide I have ever seen. 
Would yes, you do it, it again? You, you know, I probably wouldn't. It's one of those things that you do once in a lifetime and then you just move on. But I think I had my fix of fear and I'm ready to conquer another adventure. I love that. Okay, Chris, so great chatting with you and great advice. And if you'd like more information on Journeys with Chris, go to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Happy travels for your future adventures, Chris. Thank you for having me. Still ahead on SA Live, a taste of the Philippine Islands. We're making a signature dessert and talking about something new. But first, and good reason to get egg excited in the morning where you can start your day with a gourmet breakfast on the go. We get a taste next on SA Live. Welcome back, meteorologist Justin Hornier. We want to get you up today on that tornado warning. It's about to expire, literally in about 30 seconds. We think that the rotation is really weakened quite a bit. Sometimes on the leading edge of these kind of heavier storms with these tropical systems that we see, you can get little spin ups. And I think we had a little bit of rotation there around Divine, but it has since weakened significantly. So if you're watching in Hondo, I think that the bigger threat here is going to be some very heavy rain. But could there be some gusty winds, maybe a brief spin up on the, the northern edge of this? possible, but not likely. I think that the bigger issue is going to be uh, the heavy rain with this storm. And very quickly, I'll switch it back over to the velocity and we'll check the winds one more time. Doesn't seem to be much there as this is kind of now uh, moving north of Hondo. Again, now it's just the heavy rain that you're going to contend with, and there could be some minor street flooding, a few flashes of lightning, and all of this, all of this is staying to the west of San Antonio right now. So we're not seeing much here in town. That'll generally stay off to the west today, but some heavy rain for those folks along Highway 90 this afternoon. We'll be here to keep you up to date should anything else pop up. We'll toss it now back to Mike and Fiona. All right, well, if you're exhausted after the weekend, how about having a delicious gourmet breakfast made for you on the go? Or about half dozen gourmet mm. breakfasts here yeah. because Jen Zadev, owner of Baked Bird, is here to show us how they can help with a very tasty start to your breakfast. Welcome. And Mike's thank you cracking for eggs. What, what, what's he doing? So he's going to be making part of our baby green, which is our version of an avocado oh, toast. It's going to start with uh, two over easy eggs and some toasted jalapeno cheddar sourdough. We got that. Yep. <laughs> okay, and then Miss Fiona here is going to work on making our smashed avocado. We call it the lime smashed avocado. It has a little bit of the cilantro in it. Okay. So she's going to smash that up, and I brought my Perfect. smasher for you. So while they're working on flipping the eggs, um, she's going to work on seasoning this up and smashing it, and then we're going to add it to the toast. And that's the thing, so if you were making avocado toast at home, the one thing you can do to kind of, you know, kick it up a notch, you said, is to season the avocado, Season right? the avocado. I think a lot of times people just take the avocado right out and put it right on the toast. Because an avocado, I mean, I love that flavor, of, but, you know, avocado and toast, it's two very mild, mild flavors, so you need that little bit of something yeah. to give it that zing, right? Make it spicy, make it sweet, make it sour, like it crazy with it. I think avocado goes well with a lot of cuisines and a lot of different flavors that you can add to it. Where do you get all your inspiration for all these different breakfasts? Um, it's gonna sound funny, but in my dreams, I dream about food <laughs> all the time. So it's not you a bad thing to dream are about. gonna get along with us on this show, <laughs> okay? And this is just one of the really popular dishes you have, served out of a food truck, right? Yeah. So I would say that this is top three favorite items on the food truck, followed closely by the two that we have displayed up here. This is the Dirty South, and this is the Bird's Nest. Okay, and tell us what's in what's in what's in the first one. What's in the dirty south? So in the dirty south um, is our scratch made biscuit with an over easy egg and sausage gravy, topped with pico and cheese. Ooh, then that the second good. one is very close to it. Only it's what we call the potato hash bowl. We use a local pork chorizo that we buy downtown San Antonio. Then we toss it together with potatoes and peppers, top it with an over easy egg, pico and cheese. And uh, the potatoes are very good. She had a sampling for those of us that got here early and they're really good with the, uh, the chorizo in there. And then, <laughs> okay. Glad you, up. Uh, you snooze, you lose in this case. So, and then with the uh, the locks on there, ooh, that looks so good. With some That's actually cheese. my favorite menu item, the Steven. Yeah. Um, I combined every one of my favorite locks dishes into one and you have the Steven. Okay, so okay. we've got the uh, avocado. Okay. There. We're all Get smashed down. up. Yep, we're all smashed up, ready to go. I'll so go ahead and top that on top of the toast. Okay. 
All they're right. going to use two pieces of toast and then two oh, eggs two. on top of it. Oh, two, two pieces, pieces of, toast. of toast. Sorry. Go ahead. Whoops. That's okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. So two pieces of toast. There we go, like that. Uh -huh. And yep. my over medium got a little bit done, but that's okay. It's still going to eat Creative the same. Creative liberty. Then, there we go. Then you're going to go pico on top of that guy. Pico. Okay, pico. Pico. Yep. I got the pico. It's All probably right. one of our easiest dishes to make, but it's one of my favorites. Okay. Look at how beautiful that is. Look and again, at that. All of this out of a food truck. So the big question is, where's your food truck? Our food truck, you can find all of the locations on our website, which is thebakebirdsa.com. We do travel every week, three, four, and five days a week. So you, you can find us somewhere. And oh, real quickly we before we go, also known for your coffee, right? We're known for our coffee. This is gonna be our cold brew here with the marshmallow soft top and a little bit of caramel on the bottom. Ooh. This is delicious summer treat. Oh yes, look at that. All right. Mm, yum, 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 Okay. Yum, yum. For more information, of course, on the Baked Bird SA, uh, and they are on Instagram, mm. and find out where they're next, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we provided the link. Are you trying to say something? Yes. <laughs> I love the little bit of uh, spice in that toast there. That really adds that little zing to it and the lime in the uh, avocado, like you I said. I want to try. Yeah, there's okay, a clean fork. Thank you. All okay. right. Still ahead on SA Live, create the backyard of your children's dreams, how you can get these outdoor play sets at your home and how you can customize it to fit your needs. And next, the cost of pretty much everything is going up. Does that have you relying on your credit cards more? If that debt is adding up, how a local company can help you pay it down and pay it off faster. It's straight ahead. everything seems to be going up. So if you're struggling with credit card debt of 30 to $100,000 or more, help is on the way. Joining us now is Tim Wilkins with Affordable Debt Consolidation. Hey there, Tim. Hey, Fiona. Okay, we know Texans are struggling with inflation, but could rising interest rates mean paying credit card debt more difficult? Of course, right? Oh, yes. Rising interest rates will affect credit card payments. And if you're relying on credit, it's getting harder and harder to stay afloat. Now is the time to start looking for help getting out of that debt so you're not throwing that money away. You don't want to be dealing with credit because if the economy gets worse, it could get a lot worse for people who are using that as a financial strategy. What are their options, say, when you know they've got that personal loan debt or high interest credit cards? We serve specifically Texans and we have options just for Texans. And it starts with our affiliate program to find a debt consolidation loan if that's what works for you and your goals. The next option could be a credit consolidation program that works without a new loan. Or it could be our program that actually negotiates a reduction in your principal balance. And the beauty of that for so many people who are really struggling is that it actually could, uh, that monthly payment could be less than half compared to just making minimums. And it could help them resolve that debt in as little as 24 to 48 months. So affordable debt consolidation is 100% veteran owned and highly rated by the Better Business Bureau. It's also headquartered right here in San Antonio. Tell us why that's important. Well, that's important because again, we work strictly with Texans. We're able to offer our services typically 25 to 40% less, which for people who are struggling is even more relief. And we know the laws and the consumer protections that work specifically for Texans. So it's important that you get someone who knows how to help you best and learn about your individual situation. So how can folks get started with affordable debt consolidation? Well, give us a call, talk to one of our Texas debt specialists, and it's important to know what we can do for you, learn about your options, learn every individual situation, and then look at things like the graphs that we provide that really break down how our programs can assist you throughout the process. Like this first one, uh, this one is with $50,000 in high interest credit card debt, which is very typical for us. You could easily pay back more than double if you just make minimum payments. A debt consolidation loan or credit counseling might be around $63,000, and using our negotiation program, it could be well under 50000 possibly much less than the amount that you owe today. This next graph is probably the most important. When you spread those bills out every month and say, how are we going to get by making even just the minimums? With 50000 in debt, minimums could be as much as $2,000. A debt consolidation loan might be able to get that around eight eighty. dollars credit counseling around 1050 But with our debt negotiation program, we could be looking at around seven fifty dollars a month. And then again, this, this is the time that it takes to actually resolve that debt 
and minimums could be over 20 years. That's provided you don't ever make another charge on those cards. A consolidation loan or credit counseling around five or six years, but that debt negotiation program typically is estimated to resolve your debt, to take that burden off your shoulders in as little as 24 to 48 months. All right, Tim Wilkins, thank you so much for all that important information. If you or anyone you know is struggling with tens of thousands in credit card debt or personal loans, save 25 to 40% compared to most out-of-state companies. Just call 800-816-1003 or visit the website affordabledebtconsolidation.com for a free, no-obligation phone or office consultation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next on SA Live, a taste from around the world where you can try a new brunch menu with items you won't typically find around here. Don't go anywhere. Plus, here's a look at this week on SA Live. If you're looking to get a taste of the Philippines, Sorry Sorry is a perfect stop for you. Camille De Los Reyes, owner, is here along with her three kiddos. Who do we have here, Camille? This is Adrian. Evie and Rowan. Hi guys. What, so what are you making right now? Hello, hello. And that is, for those who don't know what it is? A Filipino dessert. Ooh, so this involves ice and what else? Ice cream. Ice cream and all the toppings. I see you guys have all the toppings over there, right? Okay, so they're gonna make this. Is this one of the popular items, Camille, on the menu? Yeah, so Filipino, it, um, the Philippine national dessert, I think some would consider, would be the halo halo. And this is a dessert that we just now started offering at our newest location, Sorry Sorry Supper Club. And we also have it at our original location at Sorry Sorry on Wurzbach and in our market in Stone Oak. So um, it's so popular, it's a great way to cool down. Mm -hmm. It's very colorful and tropical. Um, so I think that it's easy to make and um, it's worth a try. So we have the ice and then we add, do we add the ice cream on top of the ice? You guys can start building that hollow hollow. Go ahead and put the beans in. So you wanna tell them what's inside? So in the hollow hollow, there's some chickpeas, some sweet white beans, some sweet red beans that Rowan and Evie are putting in while Adrian shaves the ice. So it's, it goes in layers. So it they're gonna add in the bottom and then we're gonna mm -hmm. add the ice and then the ice cream, correct? Perfect. Okay, so yes. I'm gonna let you guys work on that while your mom and I switch over here to the, one of the appetizers, right? Yeah. So let's talk about what we're making here. So we're gonna build shumai. So it's a uh, Filipino twist on a classic Chinese dumpling. Okay. Um, these are pretty easy to make. I think they're unique because mm -hmm. um, it doesn't take too much skill to make them, actually. We're gonna put some of our minced pork. It's our ground pork that um, we use as our lumpia filling. It's already got the um, carrots and onions inside. Mm -hmm. And then this is some minced shrimp. So we'll mix that all together. Um, this is soy sauce, some mirin, uh, salt, pepper, and some minced garlic. And then this will be on top later. So we'll just get this, we'll mix it together. This will be our filling for our little wontons. And this is one of many different items on the menu, right? I mean, we've been out to your place before and the new location as well, so there's just a lot to choose from. Right. And so you're, you're really bringing a taste of the Philippines to San Antonio. How, how do you feel about that? <laughs> it's so exciting. So we just released our new menu. This is one of the new items, like you had mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, the Philippines has, the food has a lot of influence from um, other parts of Asia and also Mexico and Spain. Mm -hmm. So our new restaurant is really highlighting some of those flavors. And like you have it, I kind of make a C shape with my hand mm -hmm. and then put the wonton on top of it okay. and grab um, a nice little hefty ball of filling and stuff it right in the middle. Okay. So when you do that, you kind of like start to fold the wonton in on oh, itself, the wrapper. Okay. It kind of creates this little flower this little pocket and it's okay if the filling <laughs> so better this no, it's yeah. okay if the filling uh -huh. pops out a little bit i think then you okay. kind of know what's inside Got you kind of give it a little squeeze mm -hmm. as it oh. goes through <laughs> it's kind of fun to play with 
as you start to make them and, and I'm build sure you them. get the kiddos involved right with right and so that and lumpia making is yes. something that we can do so we'll put those on here as we start to form them Okay, and then these will eventually go into into that. the steamer. Okay, for about ten minutes, Perfect. and then they'll be ready. Okay, I also have some steaming inside. Got it. I can take well, a we'll peek. We'll look at those, and again, you have two different locations. Yeah, you can yeah. Go ahead. Uh -huh. um, for our viewers to go check out, and Ooh. the kids are almost done. So they're We're almost ready. ready. Okay. But for more information on, sorry, sorry, you can head over to essaylive.com. Click the Ask Seen on Essay Live tab or scan the QR code on your screen. We are going to keep building here, and we hopefully will have a finished one here soon. All right, Camille, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Oh, well, if you are looking for high-quality play sets for your backyard, we are going to show you how you can create the pool, backyard play area of your dreams or your kids' dreams. Welcome back to SA Live. <laughs> oh, this is the backyard of any kid's dream or adults. Yes, you're having way too much fun. Adam Weitz, our owner of River City Play Systems, is back with us to show more of how Wait, they can I take playtime to the next level. <laughs> he it. made it! Stuck he made it. it! You made it all in one piece. Yes, way to bring it on. Scare me. Welcome. <laughs> Ah, okay, this all right. is fun. So all the munchkins are having fun on this play set. Tell us a little bit about this play set we see behind us. Well, this is a deluxe play center, one of the most popular playgrounds that we offer. Um, tons to do. You can get it exactly as is. You can get it a little smaller, a little bigger if you want. You've got two different types of ladders. Uh, you've got a chain ladder, a step ladder. You've got a rope ladder, slide, trapezes. I was going to say, you're never going to get bored of this because no. there's a good... Is that a tire on a swing? Dozen things Absolutely. to do Absolutely, tire swings. Okay, binoculars I see. You've got a trapeze, uh -huh. swings. Um, and of course, a hoy totally there. Totally customizable. Yes. So that's the, the nice thing is because this is definitely an investment for your kids. And it's going to last for years because it's what, cedar? Absolutely, okay. cedar. You can't beat that. So you can maybe buy small and then add on as your kids get bigger. Because little ones can't do everything, obviously. But as they you know get up there, nine, eight, nine, ten, they're going to want more stuff, right? Correct. As you go, you can add on monkey bars, lofts, longer slides, spiral slides. Um, you can even attach a second playground to your first playground and make oh, it wow. much bigger. Um, I love the shade option too. <laughs> yes, you've got a big shade. It's very hot in Texas, so you need as much shade as you can get. Um, and again, we can customize these however you want. Um, we do all sizes, everything from residential to commercial. There's, there's really no limit to what you're able to do here. Okay, well, kids love them. Obviously, parents do too. Admit it, you played yes. on it before. What's your favorite thing on these play sets? My favorite is the swing and the slides. <laughs> I love to swing. <laughs> yes. I really love to swing. Well, yeah, he was Start having so, He didn't relaxing. want to stop. I know it is him. relaxing. I know him. He didn't want to stop. And of course, yellow helps with the sun, right? Absolutely. The yellow is going to reflect the sun. Um, it's going to keep it nice and cool in Texas, so you'll notice we have the green, keep it natural in this one, and then we've got the, the yellow slide to protect the kids' bottoms. Big question is, is this a do-it-yourself job? Can you, can somebody, if they're fairly handy, you know, assemble this? It can be. The biggest, uh, the biggest concern you have as a do-it-yourself is the weight. A uh, playground like this is going to be well over 1,000 pounds, so you want to have a good back uh, lifting it up. Um, you can do it yourself, but we all offer installation um, throughout all of Texas. So we'd be happy to do it for you. I recommend the installation. <laughs> well, yeah, because you're either going to come up with extra stuff I or be missing stuff. Back. No, so, don't do it. Well, good point, though. With that <laughs> don't do too. it. So, all right, if you want to see one of these things, I mean, you, you got to take it for a test drive instead of just looking at it online. So you can either look at it online or come out to your place, right? Yes, we're located in shirts right off 3009 um, going towards Garden Ridge. Okay. And we'd be happy to have you. Okay, and of course, you can jump around and have a good time. Tell us what makes your trampolines different. So our trampolines all come standard with the upper level net. Um, the springs, you're gonna have two to three times as many springs on these. It uses a twin, twin spring technology. Um, so every, uh, every, every uh, point is gonna have two springs uh, instead of just the one. Again, you've got the safety net, you've got the ladder. Uh, the one you're seeing here is the smallest trampoline we offer. They go up to 
uh, 17 foot. And also square options, right? We do have a rectangular uh -huh. option. A rectangular yes, option. It's going to be a okay. 16 by 10 is the rectangular. And then we have the 17 oval. And of course, you know, this isn't your average trampoline, as you mentioned, that you just kind of walk over to a store and get because of that kind of extra spring. And who we're looking at right now is 12 year old Dylan. Good Tell Lord. us about Dylan. Yeah, Dylan uh, took, uh, second, took right? second in state, uh, got invited to nationals. Um, Dylan loves uh, jumping on the trampoline and he's quite good at it. Show us your stuff, Dylan. There we go. And this is his, <laughs> I believe, third one, the best one that he loves. And if, if it's, you know, state expert, finalist, yeah, it's got to be good like that. Yes, and the one Yes, the one difference between these trampolines is it's a one-time buy. Um, as you mentioned, Dylan, this is the third trampoline he's owned. Hopefully it's the last trampoline he owns. Um, it's very, very high quality and uh, meant to last a long time. You jumped okay. on a trampoline lane, that's a workout, <laughs> believe it or not. Even just bouncing up and down. So. All right. Well, tell folks where they can go to find you. You're located in shirts. What's your website? www.rivercityplay.com is the website. Um, you can visit us there. You can call us at 210-660-6732. All right. Or just go to salive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, next on SA Live, don't be afraid to show your smile, how a local dentist is changing lives by transforming smiles and how he can help you. A local doctor and his wife are helping people achieve their dreams one smile at a time. Their patients are living better, eating better, and smiling more often, and they have a special deal for you today. Here with us now are the Dream Smile Team themselves, Dr. <laughs> Alfonso and Yesenia Menares from Stone Ridge Dental. Thanks for being here, you guys. Happy to be here. All right, let's start off, of course, doctor, with the All On Four procedure and what it is. Well, the All On Four is a, it's a technique, it's a treatment that has helped thousands of patients to have teeth again in a very short amount of time, in a very convenient way, uh, basically, they come in the morning and they walk out of the office um, with teeth uh, that couldn't happen. We couldn't do that before, and that it, it's given them a permanent solution for their, their problem when they need to replace it. So. And Yesenia, we're talking about a permanent solution. Who are the candidates? Anybody who has missing teeth, failing teeth, or no teeth at all, or that wants a permanent solution for their dental problems. They can be young, old, um, female, or male and if they want to look and feel uh, younger and happier. And you give folks hope, you know, with their new smiles and that transformation process. Tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, being the artist behind that and that yeah. process. So smiles are very unique and this is why we custom design every smile for our patients to complement special features, the age, gender, as well as their personality. Um, I handcraft and hand paint every smile to make sure they get a beautiful and unique smile just for them. And we have some examples right now with some patients who have gone through this life-changing transformation, right? There are three of them. Let's start with the first. That's correct. The first one is a very typical situation. Wonderful gentleman. He cared. He tried really hard, but he didn't have the teeth that last forever, right? We don't get to choose our teeth. So he, instead of uh, trying to keep fixing things, decided to replace them with the all on four. And now he looks amazing. He can eat. He can smile. He can be himself again. He won't have any problems anymore. Our next patient, she's a very smart lady that was being held back because of her dental condition. She came to the office, we offer a permanent solution and now she looks amazing. Look at her expression on the face, she's happy, healthier and confident as well. Last one is a very nice gentleman that actually a friend of his referred to the office. He had gum disease, the teeth were loose, he had missing teeth, and he was just not being able to eat very well. So he came to the office, we did the all on four, and in one day he walked out of the office with his dental problems solved and a beautiful smile. And look at that life-changing transformations. All right, let's get the information up on the screen because the first 10 people to call will get the Love Your Smile offer from Dr. Menares at Stone Ridge Dental. It's a free complete smile consultation worth $350. So the number to call is right there, 210-864-9622. That's 210-864-9622. Or just visit implantsanantonio.com for more information. Dr. Menares Yesenia, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.
Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Tomorrow on SA Live, we have a former American Idol contestant and San Antonio local giving us a special performance of her new music. Plus, there's a new food truck that's serving crazy pie creations. Find out where you can get a bite of it all. That and a lot more tomorrow, 1 p.m. on SA Live. All right, earlier we asked you to share those first day of school pictures or let us know what's your favorite thing to do at recess. Oh, yes. Valerie says monkey bars, hands down. Yep. Tetherball, oh yes, tetherball was fantastic. It's always so short for tetherball. Or just tossing <laughs> the football around a little bit. Speaking of which, a week from Saturday, if you can believe, is the Pigskin Classic. Woohoo! yes, 11 a.m., of course, pregame. Six teams are going to be facing off. We will be there along yep. with everyone. <laughs> and if you want to get down there, tickets, you can get it at Las Palapas mm -hmm. and, or watch it on uh, on KSAT, and it is going to be a whole bunch of fun. We're going to be uh, kind of in charge of all the, the halftime, right down there with the bands and everything on the field, and that's going to be just fantastic. He's so excited. I am. I am. <laughs> I'm going to wear my letter jacket, too. Oh, that's hot. <laughs>